Alrighty, hello guys, Sonic and Me Faces back to another Stormworks Search and Destroy video. Today we are actually going to be editing this plane once again, as you guys already knew I was going to do. Uh, we are currently dying, that's okay. Uh, essentially what we're going to do today is we're going to add propellers to this plane, uh, as well as keeping the jet engines. So that should look pretty interesting, it should look really cool, and uh, yeah, let's get on with it. We can do this. Okie dokie, so what we're going to do first is we're actually going to go ahead and do this on both sides and essentially we're going to delete this piece right here uh, and then from there all we got to do is delete this guy and essentially send it back. So let's go ahead and get a pipe and we got to go ahead and put one of these guys on right there like this. There we go and then we just got to send it backwards and that's it. That's essentially it. Alright, there we go. Very good. Go ahead and put on some of these guys. Do 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 do. All the way to the back end. Yes, very good. And then all we need to do is put a flat pipe right there like that. Go ahead and make it the right color. So if I can do this. Boop, boop, boop. And whee. There we go. If we just paint all of that the right color right there, then uh, yeah, we've got a good chance of actually making this work, which would be awesome. We'll then actually grab another one of these. We'll put it right there. And that will be awesome too. All right, fill that in there. Fill that in there. Get ourselves a propeller, and that should be good enough for us, I, I think, maybe. Okay, so what kind of propeller can we actually put on this? Well, we can't put a large one, because that is too big. Uh, propeller end large, that is also too big. Uh, do 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 propeller end small. That would be cool if we could add two of those, but honestly, still too big. We're going to have to go with a light one, uh, and we'll go with a light one uh, with a small end. Yeah, I guess that works. There we go. Go ahead and make it as big as possible, make it neutral, as big as possible, make it neutral, and make it 5. There we go, make it 5, very good. And then, all we have to do is attach the collective to the minus 1, which is somewhere in here. Uh, ooh, which way, where is minus 1? Is that one minus 1? It's this one. Okay, so this goes up to there on the collective, that goes to the collective as well, and that should be it, I think. That'll be cool, that'll be very, very cool. Also, with the roll and the pitch on these things, I don't know if it'll help, but let's go ahead and try it. So, roll. Where is roll? Where is roll? There it is. Uh, roll on this one as well. There we go. I don't know if it'll help, but that'd be pretty cool. Okay, I'm also thinking we should totally get rid of this because, honestly, I, it was just a test. Uh, and the test has, I mean, it was successful in terms of, it did actually work, but the test in reality is, uh, it doesn't. It doesn't really help us at all. Uh, the takeoff, yes, we could do it vertically. But is there any reason to do that? I guess not. Not really. I thought that they might have been, but it's kind of useless. It is kind of useless. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of all this. We're going to get rid of these guys and that as well. And we'll spawn this in on the floor and we should be good. And there we go. We are on the floor. That is epic. Uh, we have the, uh, the thingamabobbies ready, the propellers, and we are good to go. Alright, go ahead and close this up. Press this. Go! Go, go, go! Oh, God. <laughs> we are really getting shot at quite a lot here. We're getting shot at quite a bit. Oh, God. Here we go. Here we go. Alright, get us outside. Okay, awesome. And take off. There we go. Alright, we're in the sky. Very good. Very good indeedy. So, whoops, didn't mean to do that. One thing that I thought the uh, propellers would help us with is the wobble. It has a little bit, but honestly it is still wobbling us, which is unfortunate. But you know what? I like it. Jet engines and propellers, pretty cool. You know what as well? I'm actually going to change the color of the entire aircraft once again, and uh, we're going to make it white, because uh, the green, although it does work, I think is very strange, and I don't... I don't know if I like it as much as I'd like uh, just a white aircraft. So we're going to change it to be white. There we go. And I think that actually looks sick. The white goes with the red. It goes with the black. It goes with the gray. It just it just goes with everything. Uh, and that's all you can really ask for. So yeah, I like it. Okay, I was also thinking that maybe we can actually grab this, grab this, go ahead and cut it and move it backwards. One, we can actually put contra-rotating contra props on here as well. Uh, purely because we had them before, and I feel like we should have them again. So, we're going to put that on there, but the other way around. So, we put it in. Oh, we put it on. Like this. We press U. There we go. We then make this just as big. 
We make it neutral and we make it five. Very good. Just as big neutral and five. Bam. There we go. Very good. So now that should work as well, which would be awesome. Uh, we need to connect those to the minus one also. And this to minus one. Very good. And the roll we won't add, but I guess it would work. That's really cool. That is actually really cool. Okay, so the other thing that we do need to change is this right here. Because this has been painted white, uh, we need to actually go ahead and paint it back to grey. Because I think the grey looks better. Uh, and honestly, overall, I think it just looks a lot better if it is a different colour. So there you go. This, however, may be changing. We might actually get rid of this completely. Or we might change it to be some light auto cannons. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But if you do want to see that, let me know in the comments down below. Some light auto cannons on the back. Uh, with maybe a remote control gunner. So the way it would work is we'd actually have a gunner seat uh, right here. Uh, we'd have this sealed off and then we'd actually have the gun on the top. I think that would be cool, but I'm not sure. So let me know if you guys want to see that. Okie dokie, so the next thing we're actually going to do is we are going to get our logo to go on the wings. So it's actually going to go in a section that is... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. All right, we'll try and fit it in there, and we'll see if it works. Okie dokie, there it is right there. The Frantic Tornado is a real thing. That is amazing. All right, delete this right here. That's good. Delete this right here, and probably that one as well. Very nice. We could probably even get rid of that one too, because reasons. And then we just got to turn all of this gray stuff into red, and that's it. So I'll be back right back. When I've done that. Okie dokie, there we go. So we're actually going to go ahead and delete the ones that aren't necessarily necessary. Necessarily necessary necessary. There we go, we're going to delete all of those ones uh, for no reason, actually. But anyway, we're only going to put this on one side, on one wing. And that is going to be all we do. But there we go, we got our whole logo. Go ahead and cut it. Go ahead and load up our plane and whack it on the wing. And hopefully, hopefully it'll look pretty good. I, I am assuming that it will. But honestly, I don't know. So drag it up. Place it in there. It will get rid of some of the wing pieces, but that's okay. Go ahead and bring it over to the side just a little bit. We'll place it right there. There we go. And we will merge it with the wing. All right, very good. We're then going to set this back in. Very good. And that right there. Okay, that is pretty cool. That is really cool. All right, spawn it in. Let's see what it looks like. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, we got the front of on the wing. It doesn't look amazing, but it works. So that's all that matters. All right, merge this. Come on, merge this piece with this piece, because I forgot to. That's okay. Uh, and we also need to paint this bit down here with red. Do, 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 do. There we go. And that is perfecto. Woo! Except on this side, it will all have been painted too. Uh, and that is not it. There we go. All right, paint that back to how it was. Okay. I think we'll actually get rid of these hard points too. We're not going to use them, so I think we'll have to get rid of them. But for now, let's see what it flies like with our extra propeller and uh, our frantic logo on the wing. That's cool. That's really cool. Okie dokie, the propellers are turning. Very good. That is excellent, actually. That's very, very cool. Uh, we're going to get ourselves moving forward. Lower down just a little bit if we can. All right, full speed. Full speed. Uh-oh. Woo! Okay, yeah, that wasn't good. That wasn't good. That, yeah, that, that wasn't it. That wasn't it. We actually have a little bit of a problem here because uh, the propellers don't actually work uh, properly, do they? They don't work properly because um, the collective is always on, so we can't actually stop them from pushing us. Uh, and we can't throttle down for that either because the jet engines, they're connected directly to it. So, yes. I mean, there is a way of doing that, and it should be relatively easy. But we're just going to try and take off anyway. Also, let's disable weapons. Uh, just because of this. I mean, look at that. We have our Eurofighter Typhoon. Yep, okay. Their turning radius, by the way. The AI's turning is insane. It just They just turn. Oh, God. We're, we're very damaged already. We are very damaged already, but that's okay. Fix them. Hey, there we go. There we go. They're fixed. Let's get in the air. All right, full throttle. Let's go. Full throttle. Let's go. No, really? Woo! -hoo -hoo -hoo. That was close. That was very close. But we are in the sky now, and we are flying. Oh, that is cool. 
That is cool. Yes, guys, I love this. It looks excellent. It looks so good. All right, get back inside. Shoot our guns. Why don't our guns work? <laughs> Why don't our guns work anymore? I don't know. We're doing a bombing run anyway. Here we go. Fly straight forwards. And down a little bit. Press 6. 3, 2, 1, 6. They've all dropped. They actually went in. They went into the island. They didn't explode though, I don't think. What in the world? Why didn't they explode? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Okay, that wasn't good. Why didn't the bombs explode? That's weird. Also, this is another side note. Why didn't the guns shoot? What the heck? What in the heckin' world? Oh, the guns didn't shoot because they turned weapons off. That's why. Okay, that makes a lot more sense now. That makes a hell of a lot more sense. All right, cool. So we added the propellers back. I actually really like the addition of the propellers. I think they look really good. We've turned the whole thing white. Uh, this rear gunner is going to change. It is. It's going to change quite a lot. Uh, we're going to get rid of all this. Um... Either we're going to have a rear gunner that is an autocannon controlled by a camera gun seat, or um, we're not going to have a rear gunner at all. I'm not sure which way to do that. I'm not sure. But it's going to be one of those. It is. It's going to be one of those. Okie dokie then. I don't really know what else to do here. So I... Mm, what else should we do? Can I add autocannons? Can I actually add more autocannons? What other guns do we even have as well? Because if we go to the weapons, if I type in weapon, does it... It actually brings up weapons. A Bertha cannon. To be fair, that doesn't look awfully big. <laughs> like, that doesn't look too, too big on this thing. That's funny. That's actually really, really interesting. Uh, a light auto cannon. So if we did have light auto cannons on the rear, how big are they? They're not terrible. That wouldn't be terrible to be on the back, would it? I don't think so. That's pretty cool. Oh, something someone said as well was, uh, what if you did something with one of these guys, which is an EMP thing? Uh, yes, uh, if we had the bomb bay just open up and we didn't have to go backwards, that would be cool. Also, uh, just as another side note, if we did get rid of this so we didn't have to walk to the back, we could actually have an extra row of bombs and we'd be able to drop uh, a load more bombs. So we'd, we'd have an extra five bombs and a bigger bomb bay as well. So, if we did that, that'd be really cool. Not sure whether I want to, though. Not yet. So, we'll see. We'll see. Alright, just because I feel like we should, I'm going to go ahead and take off with this thing. And we are going to attack another target. I do enjoy actually doing this and testing it uh, while we are actually flying. That'd be great. So, go ahead and do this. Actually, we need to test something very serious here. If we are flying, okay, we can actually do our spoiler all the way back on our jet engines. And we can fly purely on the propellers. Now, if we did that, we'd be very maneuverable. That'd actually be a very good idea. That'd be a sick idea, actually. Anyway, get us into the sky. Here we go. And, yeah, alright, cool. So I'm going to get rid of the, uh, the jet engines working completely. And this is us purely on... This is us flying purely on propeller power. Okay, so I guess we are a little bit more maneuverable. We are definitely a lot slower and controlled. That's cool. This is a side effect that I wasn't actually thinking about. And you know what? It works. That's cool. Okay, so uh, I guess when we're landing and stuff like that, this is actually a very good way of doing that. Uh, I have broken the camera on takeoff. I need that to work a little bit differently to that. Because uh, at the minute, it is just as low as our wheel. If not lower, so that sucks. But anyway, let's go ahead and fight this boat. We'll actually fly over it. And we'll start shooting it. And hopefully, it all will go well. And then when we need to bug out, we can just put our jet engines back on. And that'll be great. Alright, here we go. So we're flying in. We still need the hood and stuff like that. So we'll end up attaching that. But that's fine. Here we go. Alright, and then we want to fly away, so we just put the jet engine back on, and we go, we disappear into the skies. Amazing! That's actually really, really cool. I love it! 
Look at the new roll on this as well, right? So I'm actually rolling now, but if we want to put it back to center again, we just roll back over just like this. And actually, that's pretty quick. I'd say that's pretty quick anyway. Is that AI boat going to die? Who knows? Who knows? All right, let's get back over there. And we will be launching our missiles. That was like both on target really well there. That was awesome. That was really good. That was nice. All right, okay. So we know that our plane works. We know that it works. Uh, we're going to go ahead and open up the drop bomb bay. We're going to slow ourselves down for bombing runs. This might be a good idea too. Because as you guys know, the rear bombs don't usually fall out. But if we slow the engines... Oh. Never mind that. Alright, well anyway, that is all good. That is all good. The extra propellers are actually very good for us. Uh, if we can increase the RPS somehow of the engines so that the propellers do a little bit more thrust, that would be awesome too. Uh, I think a generator on board this thing would be awesome as well, in terms of like a gas one. Uh, and if we could eventually make this thing float, that would be awesome too, but I don't know how we would do that. I'm not sure. I think we'd get rid of this landing gear, and we would make it float via something here. I actually kind of want to make this float now. I do. That would be really cool. That would be really cool. But anyway, we've added the propellers today, we added the frantic logo, we've flown it into the sky, we absolutely destroyed a civilian boat because we're awesome. And, uh, yes, this has capabilities, and I like them. I like them. It's very, very cool. All right, well, anyway, for now, I'm going to go ahead and say thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, if you guys have any ideas on what we can add to this thing, then let me know in the comments down below, and I'll see what I can do. But for right now, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Goodbye.